Hey guys, and welcome back to Sports Design School. And I have to say, it's great to be back. Now I took about a month off to catch up on a couple of projects, but now I'm back putting out videos, hopefully twice a week for the foreseeable future. I really appreciate all of the messages over the past month saying, are you done making videos? Please come back, whatever, I'll pay you to come back. Don't worry guys, we are here for now and we will be here for the foreseeable future. Do not worry about that. We have tons of awesome videos planned here very soon, so make sure you like and subscribe if you aren't already. Now about today's video. Today I, I'm gonna be talking about this Georgia Football Pro Day graphic. I saw this about three weeks ago, three or four weeks ago, and it really caught my eye, and I knew instantly I wanted to do a video on this effect. So I'm just gonna jump right in and try to recreate this the best I can in Photoshop. So I'm gonna start off by just creating a solid red background. Now we can do that by just going down here and hitting solid color and hitting OK. I'm gonna hide this layer for now and then we can go through and choose our shade of red that we want. I'm just gonna pull from the background of our current image. That looks pretty close to me. Next, I wanna use the cutout of this image. So I don't actually have this exact same cutout, but I was able to find this awesome image of JT Daniels and so I'll be using that to keep in line with the Georgia football theme. Now I'm just gonna scale him up a little bit by hitting Command T and scaling up. And that size looks pretty good to me. And so now I have my cutout and I have my red background and I need to create the rest of this look. Now if you notice, there's a little bit of a red overlay on this cutout and I wanna duplicate that effect for my own JT Daniels cutout. And so we can do that by applying a gradient map. Now here you can see this made our entire image black and white, but we wanna create a clipping mask on our cutout to make sure that our cover color overlay is only applied to the cutout itself and not the entire background. From there we can double click on this thumbnail and double click here to where it will be presented with our gradient editor where we'll be able to edit our gradient map. Now we're presented with tons of options here, but I'm gonna keep with the black to white gradient slider. And for now, I'm just gonna double click this white square and then choose the shade of red that we use for our background. And then from there, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Now, going off of our original image, we wanna include some of these highlights like on his face and on his shoulders and especially on his shoes. And so to do that, we're gonna use this tool called Color Range Select. So we can go up to Select, Color Range. And before I do that, I wanna make sure my background is just a solid red color. So now we can go up to Select, Color Range, and choose Highlights. And what that allows us to do is only select the areas of this JT Daniels cutout that are highlights. So for instance, where the light is shining off of his face and reflecting off of his skin. And we can play around with our range that we want to include. So something like that seems to capture the detail in his arms really nicely. From there, I'm just gonna hit okay. And you can see now we have marching ant overlays on all of the areas where the highlights of the image are included. Now we want all of our highlights to be white, just like our original reference image as you can see right here. And so we can do that by choosing drop down, solid color, and then choosing white. Now you'll notice everywhere that my marching ants were located is where my color is being applied. So for instance, if we were to choose black, all of the highlights in the image are now black, but since they're highlights, we want them to be white. So we're gonna choose white. We're now gonna drag our highlight overlay on top of our gradient map and turn our gradient map on. And you can see this is already starting to look really cool. I wanna adjust my gradient a little bit to match our original image a little bit better. So I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna drag this red square to the left a tad. And that gives us the ability to play around with just how red our image is. And I think something like that looks pretty good. So now we have our JT Daniels image with our red overlay effect applied, just like on our original image. 
Next, we want to capture the details of the grunge background from the Georgia football design. And this is pretty easy to do. Now I couldn't find the exact match of what grunge pattern they used, but I was able to find something that's pretty close. So I just googled grunge texture and I found this texture right here. I'll drag this up to the very top so you guys can see. And you'll notice it's a nice kind of subtle grunge texture. Let me turn, let me duplicate this and then turn my blending mode to normal with my fill up to 100%. So this is what the original texture looked like. And then in order to manipulate the image to get it to blend better with my reds and really let my image shine through, I set my blending mode to overlay and then I turn my fill down. And I really like the way 50% is looking. And then what I did is I applied a levels adjustment right on top of that to play around with the contrast within my overlay. The levels adjustment tool really allows me to play with the details and play around with how much contrast exists within the grunge overlay, which is a nice touch. I think I like the way that is looking. I think it's pretty good. And it allows us to add a good bit of noise to our image. Now going back to our reference image, you can see, and let me delete this second one. We have Georgia Football Pro Day. So I'm gonna just simply hit T on my keyboard to bring up the text tool. I'm just gonna type in Pro Day. And I'm gonna bring this to the very top. Now this font that Georgia uses is called Integral CF. I'm not sure if you can find it for free, but definitely look and see if you can find it somewhere. I'm pretty sure that's how I got it. And it looks like they're using the heavy variation of that font. We're then gonna play around with the sizing of the text and that looks pretty close. From here, I'm gonna play around with the colors. So I want this half to be a dark gray. So not exactly pure black, but something close to it. That looks pretty good. And then I want this second half to be white. And I think that looks pretty good. And it's looking like we're pretty spot on. One thing I might wanna do is it looks like our O and D are a little bit closer. So I'm just gonna change our kerning on that letter specifically to zero. And now it looks like it's just about perfect. I'm gonna position this roughly where theirs is. And then from there we can add the rest of our text. I'm then gonna scale this text down to better match our original and maybe just choose the bold option for this. We can then increase the kerning on our letters and position it in roughly the same spot. And then the same can be said for this 2021 overlay. Now this text is in white, so I'm simply gonna change the color. And that is easy enough. Now one small detail left with this text on top is it looks like there is a Georgia G rectangle overlay right here. That's super easy to do. We can simply do that by going to our rectangle tool and clicking and dragging to roughly the same shape. And that looks pretty good. I'm then just gonna choose this shade of red from our image. And then I'm going to drag this Georgia logo that I found off of sportslogos.net and position it over my red rectangle. I highly recommend checking out sportslogos.net for all of your sports logo needs. They have just about every logo from minor league baseball to major league sports, NBA, FIFA, whatever, pretty much whatever logo you need they have. So I definitely recommend checking them out. So now that we have our G rectangle overlay, now I'm not gonna cover this text in the background just because it's a little bit redundant. It's essentially the same process that we've already done, just adding it into the background behind our cutout. 
What I do want to address though is this bottom black rectangle. It looks like they have a pretty cool overlay that they applied to this. Now I don't necessarily have this cool cartoon looking overlay, but I'm going to try my best to recreate the look. We're just going to simply click and drag a black rectangle and position it in the same spot. And I'm going to drag up this Sanford Stadium image that I found off of Google and add it as a clipping mask over wherever our rectangle is, if we can find it. Here we are. I'm then gonna move it down to where we can see it. That looks like a nice detail. And then I'm going to add our gradient that we applied to this JT Daniels cutout to the Sanford Stadium image. We can play around with the placement a little bit to really get the similar effect to the original image. I think that looks pretty good. And now let me turn off this Pro Day graphic and you can see here we have a very similar looking design. Now I might add a little bit of text in the background just so it can get a little bit of a similar feel. I'm just going to type in 165. I'm going to move this behind our JT Daniels cutout. Decrease our kerning to zero and scale this up a good bit. To match their style, I'm going to choose heavy again for integral and then simply rotate it just like they did for their design. Maybe play with the scaling a tad bit more and that is looking pretty good. But that's it guys, that's how I recreated this Georgia Football Pro Day design. If you want to check this out for yourself, I'll put the link down in the description to download the PSD where you'll be able to edit all of the layers in this image and play around with it for yourself, change the colors, do whatever you would like to. But if you learned something new and really enjoyed this video, drop a like. If we can get to 50 likes, that would be awesome. 50 is the sweet spot that YouTube wants us to get to to start recommending us to new users. And so the more people we can get this video in front of, the more people we can get on the sports design school train, which would be awesome. A quick little update about our channel. We are just about at the point of being monetized. We are just 300 watch hours away. So do me a favor, if you've made it to the end of the video, go back and check out some of my other videos and maybe just watch a few old ones just for the memes. That seriously will help so much in getting us closer to the monetization goal to where I can get a computer that doesn't sound like a jet plane every time I record a video. But thank you so much for watching it and if you've made it this far, thank you for making it to the end. I really appreciate all you guys do and I'm excited for more videos here soon. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.